patient presented with short stature and limbs but normal strength levels the pedigree chart shows the following inheritance pattern identify the condition the options are ellis van krivel syndrome achondroplasia hurler syndrome and angelman syndrome now ideally when this kind of a question comes our first attention goes to the pedigree chart and we forget the information in the question so the patient has short stature limb but normal strength levels now here these are very typical of a patient with achondroplasia we will talk about all the options uh, and the pedigree chart too but uh, let's see what is achondroplasia first so achondroplasia coming to the clinical features is a condition characterized by short stature rhizomelic shortening of the arms and legs and a disproportionately long trunk trident hands mid facial hypoplasia prominent forehead with a frontal pausing thoraco lumbar protuberance megalencephaly and characteristic limitation of joint motion okay so these patients are dwarf and are of normal intelligence and they are blessed or endowed with unusual strength and agility okay so this is something specific to achondroplasia now the other options and the pedigree chart firstly how to interpret a pedigree chart a pedigree chart is nothing but the inheritance pattern things you need to know basically is how to demarcate the gender and how the offsprings are affected okay so these are a few important things that you need to know also if there is a twin it is represented like this so let's interpret the given pedigree chart now here the male is affected the female is not affected they have four offsprings with 50% affected rate you see that one circle and one square are colored that means 50% offsprings are affected and this is not related to gender so both female and male are affected that implies that this condition is autosomal now a condition can be can be autosomal or sex linked that means it can be through the x and y chromosome or it can be through the other chromosomes now because here both genders are affected through a male this is an autosomal condition got it okay now if you see the female here has an offspring that is affected which is a male and a female and two out of three so that is more than 50% and the male over here has an offspring which is a male that is 50% affected again one out of two so this is a dominant trait a recessive trait would mean a lesser chance of this kind of a situation to simplify this for you this is a chart over here so you see that there is a mutation in an autosomal chromosome the female is normal and two of their offsprings are affected by the condition and two are not affected at all this is an autosomal dominant trait in an autosomal recessive trait there has to be a carrier or it could be an affected parent and when two recessive genes come close to each other and meet like they form the embryo that causes the affected child okay so you see here three of the offsprings are not affected but one is affected giving a 25% chance of this kind of inheritance so this is a recessive trait now let's have a look at the options so first is ellis van krivel syndrome which is also a genetic disorder with short limb dwarfism additional fingers and toes that is polydactyly normal development of fingernails and congenital heart defects this skeletal condition is rare and is caused by an autosomal recessive trait autosomal recessive trait okay uh here the ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm all three are affected achondroplasia which i already mentioned to you is an autosomal dominant trait okay so here there is a 50% chance of the offspring offspring to have a condition carried by their parent in hurler syndrome which is a defect because of mucopolysaccharide uh, uh metabolism and it is a lysosomal storage disease there is skeletal abnormality cognitive impairment then there is 
heart disease and there is respiratory problem liver problem uh, there is a specific facial appearance and there is reduced life expectancy now this condition has been mapped to chromosome number 4 site 4 p16.3 and this is an autosomal recessive pattern lastly angelman syndrome is also a genetic disorder which primarily affects the nervous system includes a uh, delayed development and intellectual disability there is speech impairment there is problems with movement and body balance now this is not an inherited condition although the genetics of this is very complex this is mainly caused by mutation on chromosome number 15 there are various theories to this we will not go in detail with this intro so mutation on chromosome number 15 now looking at the pedigree chart which is an autosomal dominant trait with the clinical features matching to that of achondroplasia the correct answer is 